Hi everyone. I wanted to make a video showing students how they can identify the horizontal phase shift or C value of a sinusoidal graph. So let's start with the sine function here where I've marked the point of intersection of the y-axis and the median. And I'll call this point the start point. Now since the phase shift takes every point on the graph and translates them C units to the right or to the left, it doesn't really matter which point I focus on as long as I pick one. So this point is a convenient one because it is where the graph rises up through the median at the y-axis. So I'm going to pick this point. If I can figure out where this point ends up after the transformation, then I can easily determine the phase shift. So let's, let's do a simple example. If I shift the graph, let's say, to the right, then it's really easy for me to see what happened to that point. That point was here, and now it's here at pi over 3. So the C value is obviously pi over 3, and the graph was, has a horizontal phase shift of pi over 3 units to the right. Similarly, if I were to shift it to the left, um, to this point, then again, I can tell that this is where it started, this is where it ended up, and my intention was for it to end up at negative 2 pi over 3, so 2 pi over 3 to the left would be the horizontal phase shift. Okay, But what if there are other transformations involved? What would happen if I applied a vertical stretch or horizontal stretch. Okay, so let's see, let's see what happens in that case. So I'll reset uh, back to y equals sine x. And now what I'm going to do is I'll apply some kind of a amplitude change or a vertical stretch. I'll apply a bit of a horizontal stretch. Okay, and notice that whichever one of these I do, if you focus on the start point, nothing happens. Well, obviously, because uh, in the case of either a vertical stretch or a horizontal stretch, I'm multiplying the y-coordinate or the x-coordinate, respectively, by the stretch factor. But since this point that I selected is at 0, 0, 0, 0 multiplied by anything doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so obviously a horizontal stretch and a vertical stretch do not actually affect the horizontal phase shift. Now, if I were to apply a vertical displacement, now my point does in fact move. Okay, so let's go here. I've applied a vertical displacement 1 down, so I can see that my point has moved down. Now, um, when you're asked to identify the horizontal phase shift, you're not going to actually get the benefit of being able to see this point. You're just going to get the blue graph, and you're going to be asked to identify the horizontal phase shift. So the thing about it is, is, is that you still look along the y-axis, and you notice that the start point, which would have been here, Okay, I'll, I'll put the point back on, has not shifted off of the y-axis. Okay, so even though I have applied three transformations to the original graph, including a vertical stretch, a horizontal stretch, and a, and a displacement, a vertical displacement, uh, there still is no c-value, or the c-value is still zero, because this point has merely been shifted down. Okay, so if you don't have the point, you can take a look at the graph, Consider what's happening on the y-axis, and you'll notice that, and, and perhaps what might be helpful is if you were to look along the median. Okay, and I'll change this color slightly to maybe green. So if you look along the median and you notice, hey, wait a minute, this point is still there where the median intersects the y-axis, even though it's a little bit lower than the original x-axis, then you know that there's no horizontal phase shift that has happened. Okay, so now comes the moment of truth. What if I were to actually apply these three transformations, and in addition to that, apply also a horizontal phase shift? So now I'll move it over again, maybe this far. Uh, trying to get it right on. Okay, so now you ask yourself, well, what happened to the point? Well, with the benefit of this graph that I'm showing you, you can see that the point started there, right, on the orange graph, y equals sine x, and now it ended up here. We don't know what the equation of this blue graph is, but we do know we can see that this point started there and ended up here. Okay, so then how do you figure out what that horizontal phase shift is, especially since you're not actually going to be given the benefit of the point there, nor would you be given the median? So in order to be able to figure this out, what I would suggest that you do, especially when in the case of a sine function, is always graph the median. Okay. Now, I'm not asking you to eyeball it. There are, there are ways that you can figure out the median without actually having to approximate it, right? So for example, we know 
that the median is the average of the max and min values. So the max value is 1, the min value is negative 3. Um, and so the average of 1 and negative 3 is negative 1. So then on your graph, you could graph y equals negative 1. And then from there, what you would do is you would look along that median for something that looks like this point. And when I say something that looks like this point, I mean the point lies on uh, the rising part of the curve. And it would be on where the new median is. And that's it. So if I look, there are several candidates. So for example, this would be a good candidate, right? This is, this is a point here where we have the median intersecting the rising part of the curve, okay? Another point would be here. And in fact, that was the point that I had identified. So I'll put my point there, okay? Another point would be here. Another point would be there. This point uh, right here is on the median. Uh, but it is not on a part of the curve that is rising up through the median. It is actually falling through the median. So that would not be appropriate because that's not how it behaved before. We're trying to figure out where this point ends up, right? This point is along the original median and it's on the rising part of the sine function. So it's got to be this point here that is on the rise on, along the new median and along the rising part of the curve. So in this case, I can see that the distance from this point back to the y-axis is 2 pi over 3. Therefore, the horizontal phase shift is 2 pi over 3.